In this Malaysia food vlog, we share our favourite Malaysia night market in the heart of Kota Baru. We'll take you on a street food tour and taste test some of the best local Kelantan food. We were searching everywhere in Kota Baru for a night market with food and we were about to give up and head home when we stumbled upon the Medan Mara night market. There's this massive market, it goes on for a couple of streets. It does seem to be mainly clothes and toys and secondhand goods and that sort of thing, but there are a few food vendors and can I just say, the donuts in Malaysia look amazing. We weren't prepared for what was to come next. Just a short walk from the main square was a massive market filled with hawker stalls, food trucks and lots of people. I was wondering where all the food was. It's right here and we've already eaten. We're coming back again tomorrow. Malaysia, I've become addicted to coconut shakes. It's coconut milk, there's probably a bit of ice cream in there as well, or mixed together. A bit of sugar there too, and it's just delicious. This is so nice. It's really cold as well, there's ice there too. It's so refreshing, so delicious. Highly recommend it, and this was only free ringgit. What a bargain. Laksam is a very popular dish in this region of Malaysia and it's a noodle based soup and the noodles are rolled up and cut into bite sized pieces. We've got the Laksam Kelantan special which comes with a big piece of quail bags and it's got some lettuce and some cucumber and a few other things there and they asked us if we wanted it spicy or not. We said just a little bit so they gave us some sambal. So let's try this. <laughs> Those noodles are really delicious. And the, um, the soup itself is a really interesting flavor. So it's a little bit fishy, a little bit um, sour, and yeah, quite hearty. Mm. The eggs are a nice addition as well. So this is a beautiful dish. It was only six ring up at the night markets here at Kota Baru. This is a tea bang madu. So it's a milk tea float and it's got honey in it. So it's extra sweet. It's got this frothy surface on top and should be really interesting to taste. Mm. Yeah, this is really nice. So it is really sweet. You can taste the tea in there too. And the milk, it's, yeah, it's a really, really good drink. This beautiful piece of fish is a barramundi and it was only 24 ringgit. We've also got some rice to go along with it, one ringgit for the, per parcel. And it comes with a sauce as well. So this has just been freshly grilled right out the front of this restaurant. We're at Restaurant Rosley and it's part of the Medanmara night market in Cote d'Ivoire. So let's open up this fish. It's a white fish. It's got a nice crispy skin. I'll try it with that sauce. Mm. You can taste some lemongrass. Got some chili in there. Mm. It's a really beautiful sauce. The skin's nice and crispy. The fish is really nice and light and a bit flaky. Mm. Barramundi is one of our favorite types of fish and this is just beautiful. This restaurant is very popular. We came on a Saturday night previously. We walked past and there was a line coming out the door. So make sure you get here early. It opens at about 8 p.m. This interesting thing here is a fried jackfruit. Now, we didn't quite get the name of it in Malaysian. If you know, please let us know in the comments. We'd be really interested to find out. It's really hot, it's fried. Yeah, it looks really interesting to try. 
on the outside it's a little bit crunchy, but on, on the inside it's really sweet. Don't know what it quite tastes like. It's, it's a little bit like mango, but not really. It's got the same texture as mango. It's sweet like mango, but it's a different taste. And you've got uh, what I assume is the seed there. I don't know whether you can eat the seed or not. No, you probably can't. So you just eat around the seed. This is really delicious and it's really novel having it hot too. We decided to have a little snack after having a whole fish and we thought we'd have a murder back, but we didn't realise just how big it is. This is massive. We got one with beef and cheese and we haven't had too much cheese when we've been in Malaysia so that makes a nice change and this was nine ringgit so yeah really good value. So a murder back is it's like a body that's been filled with ingredients so this one is the beef one and then they've covered it in fresh grated cheese and sauce and it looks absolutely amazing. So they've cut it into little bite-sized pieces for us. So I'm just going to grab one. That is so good. Oh, there's just so much flavour in it. The pastry and the meat and the cheese just melts together so perfectly. It is a beautiful dish and a must-have in Malaysia. local to Kelantan, Malaysia is nazi soup peruk air. So it's a tripe based soup. So tripe is like the stomach of an animal and it's got rice in it which is kind of yeah it's quite a wet rice and it's got herbs, it's got a sweet sour tangy chili as well. This is a very popular comfort food in this part of Malaysia. Mm. Yeah, so the tripe has a bit of a gelatinous texture to it. It's a little bit chewy. It's got quite a bit of heat in it. You can taste the herbs in there. Um, the rice is quite a soft texture. They've cooked the rice um, quite thoroughly. Mm. Yeah, if you like soup, then this is a beautiful dish to have. It's really nice and warm and it is very tasty. This cute little creature is a baby crispy crab. This whole box was five ringgit and oh, it looks so good. Mmm. Ooh. You could choose from all sorts of flavors. There was tom yum, there's barbecue, paprika. There was another one as well. Um, but we chose barbecue, really nice flavor, very, very crispy and crunchy. Mm, great little snack. It's time for dessert and we've got ourselves some chalk filled donuts. So we got nine for five ringgit and these came right out of the deep fryer and they're really hot, so I better get into them. Mm. So you can see the melted chocolate in there. Mm. Really good and a nice, naughty way to finish the night. We hope you enjoyed our Malaysian night market tour. If you did, hit that like button and let us know what you thought by leaving us a comment. In our next Malaysia vlog, we'll share more things to do in Kota Buru, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button to stay tuned.